Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the Mill Me 24. So, this is the Hind in NATO, and it's built by Black OP Killer 28, otherwise known as Montes, on a server Foxshot. And this is a helicopter gunship. It's also used as a small capacity uh, troop transport, room for eight passengers uh, in the back, I suppose. And this originates from the Soviet Union and Russia. And I saw on their Wikipedia page they're still producing this. Uh, so yeah, this is primarily used by the Russian Air Force. And the United States Army actually owns one of them. And then I think they fly for training purposes. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's get started on this build. All right, so first off, we're going to place a black concrete down. This is the front landing gear. Then we're going to add a light blue concrete on top. Three blocks in the front of that one. So one, two, three. And nine blocks after this one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that should be 13 blocks. Then we're going to take a uh, prismarine stairs, add two in the back, facing outwards. And two uh, prismarine slabs in the middle. And iron trap doors uh, right behind the stairs. And then we're going to take a black concrete block, place that at the side of the stairs. And then we're going to take um, levers and add it to the inner part of these uh, landing gears. And the one in the front, we're going to have a lever in the front. So let's add a stone button to the sides of all our wheels. And then we're going to take prismarine stairs, go to the front, face it towards the front, upside down. And two of them facing outwards behind that. And behind that, another one uh, facing backwards. I have a little stomach ache, so uh, that's a little distracting. So next, we're going to take prismarine slabs and upper slab go all the way across. Connect these two parts together. And then we're going to take... Uh, Alright, so next we're going to place three blocks here temporarily. And dark oak wood fence gates on top so that there's a row of three. Delete these three, and then we're going to add a V-shape using stone brick stairs like this. And in the middle, let's add a light gray wall, and three light gray walls on the sides. Then we're going to take uh, four lime terracotta blocks, add it, and then uh, two grays, and then two lime again. So, two grays, two lime again, and then... Lastly, there's going to be uh, one gray, and then an upside down um, dark prismarine stairs right above this iron trap door. All right, all right. So next, we're going to add in the cockpit. So we're going to take black stained glass block, add two blocks like that, and another two diagonally, and we're going to add two to each side of uh, these glass panes as well to make them more uh, bubbly. And right down below here, we're going to add uh, two lime terracottas. And then next is two grays. And then we're going to have dark prismarine stairs uh, facing the back. All right. And then um, light gray wall. And this time we're going to use stone brick stairs. Two of them facing the back again. And then two lime blocks. And then two gray blocks. And then an upside down uh, stone brick stairs. Alright, so for the next layer, we're going to add upside down, or not upside down, just right side up. Um, dark prismarine stairs right there. Lime. Just one lime. And then Dark Prismarine stairs facing outwards again. Two of them right above these windows, I guess. They're probably windows. And then um, Lime again. And like great, we'd add a row of three. And then two Limes. And then two light gray wall blocks. And on the outer portion, we're going to have uh, stone brick stairs facing outwards. 
So then we're going to place a stone brick slab right there. And then a stone block in the middle of uh, the stairs. Iron trap door on top. Behind it we're going to add a cobblestone wall. With a skeleton skull on top. And behind that let's add a uh, lime. And then a double stone brick slab. Like that. And then let's also add in a lever. So let me grab that again. Add the lever right above that uh, stone brick, double stone brick slab, and also an iron trap door here. But it's going to open up because uh, I think Montez probably used some mod, like world edit, to make it work. So I guess I'll just face the other direction. Or you don't have to include it all. Alright, so next let's add. Um, Two lime terracottas in the middle, right in front of this uh, stone block, and then dark bridge marine stairs, two blocks in front of that. So we're going to take two dark bridge marine slabs, add it right there. And behind that, let's add some uh, stone blocks. So let's add like, um, I'd say like five. So in the middle, one, two, three, four, five. And for the outer portions, uh, actually, let me go in the front. We need to add in that little pole that sticks out using end rods so go right over here to the left hand side add the end rods three blocks long I think like so and let's take a uh, lime terracotta um, go right here right above uh, where the stairs is add it like that and let's make it four blocks long and behind that we're going to add a stone brick stairs upside down I think it's like an exhaust port or something. And let's add in, um, actually, yeah, let's add in a uh, light gray wool right behind that stairs, and then two lime terracotta blocks, like so. All right, so we're gonna go to the front in the middle. Let's add um, dark prismarine stairs, and behind that, uh, fill in this middle with lime. Then we're going to skip one after the stairs and add uh, another brick slab. And then we would have dark prismarine slab after it. And then a row of three dark prismarine slab. And one of the outer edges. Then we're going to add levers uh, facing the middle like that. And then um, let's go in the front to add some zombies skulls like this. Then we're going to add an anvil in the middle. Place that down. And let's place uh, stone brick stairs facing inwards like that. We have a stone brick slab after it like so. Then we're going to take a cobblestone wall, add it right above this anvil. And a skeleton skull. All four directions around this rotor. I don't know what to call it, the rotor beam pole thing. <laughs> and then a double stone brick slab on top. And then let's add in the rotors. So the first rotor, like right here in the middle, it's going to be 14 blocks of stone brick slabs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, then we're going to add stone brick slabs to the sides. And another one, but uh, two blocks long. And we want six pairs of these two block long one parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and then add one at the very edge like that so same thing on the other side so make six a half of these pairs this third one four five six and a half all right and let's go to the back the back one is actually easier so it's just going to be pure diagonally uh 12 blocks i believe yeah, 12 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Same thing on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And if we did it correctly, you should like line up with the other side. 
So then we're gonna go to the cockpit. Let's actually add in stone blocks inside the cockpit. So like, don't really like see all these parts inside. So let's just like cover that area up a little bit. I don't know, should it be like that? Should add stone blocks. Cover back up the cockpit. And you can add seats in there if you want to. All right, then we're gonna take uh, dark oak wood buttons, add two of them right below this person rain windows, I guess. And stone buttons, two of them, um, right above this window to like the back part on these lime blocks. All right, then we're gonna take lime, add two blocks down here, and then add, go diagonally up, add another two blocks. And diagonally up, I guess just fill in this area like that, so it goes up like that. So then we're going to take uh, Dark Person Marine stairs, add one underneath this nook, and this nook. So we're left with this part. So after we do that, let's add Lime Terracotta right behind this part, both sides. And then um, Dark Person Marine stairs and a dark person rain slab at the end of the stairs. And then we're gonna add three dark person rain slabs on the sides like so. Now for this middle section, we're gonna add in um, additional four blocks of lime. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna add dark person rain all the way back to match. Same thing on the bottom here. And then two light gray uh, wool blocks. And then two uh, stone brick slabs above and below it. So at the tail, we're going to take prismarine stairs, add it upside down towards the back, and another one upside down towards the front below it. And then a birch fence gate diagonally towards the back. Then we're going to take uh, two dark birch marine uh, slabs like that, and one slab like that, and then a prismarine stairs, dark prismarine, I mean. <laughs> with a line following it. Dark first rain stairs upside down below, I mean after it, and above it. All right, in this nook, let's add um, light gray wool block, and dark first marine um, stairs, actually not stairs, there's a coffin on wall behind it. And there is uh, dark first marine stairs on top. And what is at the edge? Just the upside down one behind that part. So it looks like this uh, it is asymmetrical, so this side's gonna have more stuff on it, which is like the actual rotor. So for this side, we're gonna have a stone brick stairs face to the back like that, with a skeleton skull in the middle of that, and a birch fence on top. Uh, acacia fence on top of that one, and then a birch fence gate on the side of that um, skeleton skull dangling down so I'm going to try to place it. It's actually quite difficult so let's uh, grab uh, some blocks temporarily just to like help build it a lot easier. So then I'm going to add birch fence gate and then acacia fence gate diagonally down like so. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the back rotor. All right, next we're gonna add a stone button on the side of this lime, and two stone buttons in the back on this lime as well. Same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna go um, to the side and we're gonna add in like this part where it actually has all the weapons. So to do that, we're gonna go um, to where the back wheel is. And then we'd go up to where uh, we see that light gray wool and place a stone slab down. And then we'll have two dark prismarine slabs after it. And then we're gonna take uh, stone, stone brick slabs again at two, like so, dark prismarine. And dark prismarine in the front, stone brick slab. And then we're gonna go down at dark prismarine So no, I have to make it just that bottom portion. So it does slope down a bit more on this side. Let's add iron trap door and two dark prismarines in front of that. 
to slabs. And for the side, we're going to add in um, dark oak fence gates. So that is three blocks. Like so. And then we're going to take iron trap door, add two blocks on top here. And then we're going to go down below, add in uh, four cobblestone walls. Like that. Skip a block, go towards the center, and add another four. Then we're going to take uh, skeleton skulls, add it to the tips, like this. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So for the other side, just go to where the wheel is, go up to where the light gray wool is, place a stone brick slab down, and two dark prismarine slabs after it. Then we're going to go um, diagonally downwards, and let's add another dark prismarine slab towards the back, and two stone brick slabs at the front. Then in the front, we're going to have dark prismarine, stone brick slab, and then we're going to go down at dark prismarine, but it's like lower. And then um, for the next one, let's add iron trap door right there, and two dark prismarines. Then we're going to add two iron trap doors right here, and two uh, dark oak wood fence gates like that, actually three of them. And below over here, let's add four blocks long, cobblestone wall. And let's add skeleton skull at the very edge of it, like so. And there's frost again. Um, then we're going to skip a block and add another four uh, cobblestone walls. Skeleton skulls at the very tips. And I think we're uh, actually pretty close to finishing this off. So, actually, I think that's it. So um yeah that's pretty much it on how to build the Mill Me 24 um by Black OP Killer 28 aka Montez. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is actually quite long. I had to redo it a couple of times because there's so many subs. This is actually a pretty complicated build. Uh, but anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, and if you actually followed it, you should press the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.